States, baby, and I'm coming to you with another Sailor 50 States, Inc. video. Woohoo! We have Montana and Nebraska, and I am actually pretty excited about these. Um, I unironically have pens to fill that match the inks. Um, they're pens I haven't shown off. I didn't do an unboxing. I did just clean them out and install a converter, but I have the relatively new Lamy All-Star. I have Aquatic and Fiery. They both have medium nibs, and these are the pens we're going to use for our inks today. Um, yeah, we have Montana, which is a, uh, looks like a pretty blue, and Nebraska, which looks like a pretty red. I'm not sure why Nebraska's red, but let's find out. Montana, I am certain I know why it's blue, but... Nicknamed the Treasure State for its rich minerals and gemstones, Montana's ink is inspired by the blue sapphire gemstones found in the Little Belt Mountains. I did not know they were uh, big sapphire providers. I assumed it would be blue because of the sky, but yeah, I can't wait to see what kind of blue this is. It looks like it might have interesting shading based on the little swatches on the sticker. And then we have Nebraska. Nebraska is not just known for their Cornhuskers team, but also the state where Kool-Aid Tropical Punch was invented, originally called Fruit Smack in 1927. Okay, that's a cool fact. <laughs> that's a cool fact. This even looks like Kool-Aid. Okay. Okay, I kind of like this. <laughs> As a child who drank a lot of Kool-Aid, I think that's awesome. If you are from or have ties to Montana and Nebraska. How do you feel about your state colors as far as sailor is concerned? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Um, I think that <laughs> that's a cool tidbit. That's a cool fact. I learned something today and I learned a super fun fact that I will remember forever and will, I will pull out at parties and be like, guess what? I probably won't, but because that would require me to go to a party. But anyway, one of those, <coughs> excuse me, hold on, we might have another one. Okay, we might be safe. One of those cute little fun facts, oh no, we're not. <coughs> excuse me, now that I know how to edit on my phone, hopefully I can take that out. Anyway, um, yeah, now we have um, a cool little fun fact. I still don't know how I feel about red for Nebraska, but it, based on the little tidbit they shared, it makes sense. Again, if these are either of your states, how do you feel about that? Okay, we need to swatch them, and I don't have any swatch cards sitting here. How is that possible? How is that possible? I know they're over here, or there should be some over here. I will grab them. Okay, perfect. We have swatches, or swatch cards. We have paper, we have ink. Let's go. I'm gonna ink the pens. We're gonna ink the pens just because I'm gonna use them to write on the card and do a writing sample. So let's just go ahead and do that real fast. Um, this is the All Star Fiery with the medium nib. I got medium on both of these and I won't leave the sticker on. I will actually probably take it off after the video is done because I don't like the sticker, but I also am wasting your time filling a pen, so I don't want to waste the time filling a sticker off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, that's exciting. That's like really, that's a really goofy fact. As somebody who has zero ties to Nebraska, I. I, like I said, like this fun fact. Um, I personally am not mad at it, but again, if you have ties to either of these states, how do you feel? Is this a fact you knew? Is this like, oh, is my clip being weird? Is this like, um, this is like North Carolina and strawberries? Because it seems like the people that I know with ties to North Carolina are very unhappy with their state choice and to be honest i never associated strawberries with 
North Carolina either, so I'm just as surprised and confused. Looks like a pretty blue. I don't know that we need another blue in the lineup, but... Ooh. Ooh. Intriguing. Okay, so one thing, if you haven't watched me play with the Lamy before, the one thing that I am like really like nutty about is I want the logo. The logo has to be facing up like the, with the nib. There we go. I don't care about anything else, but that has to be that. Okay. So let's, I don't know why I'm putting these away. I need them. I need them because we're going to swatch them. I guess we're starting with Montana because that's open. So we'll just do that. I got these from, At no, I got these from Pen Chalet. I got the pens from Atlas Stationers. I have referral links for both of these places. I will leave them in the description. Um, Penshelly, you get $10 off your first order of $75 or more. And Atlas, you get 10% off your order for most things. Some, exclu some exclusions apply, like Sailor. Um, but this is Sailor. 50 states. Montana. I like this. I like this blue. Okay, I said I was going to do this off the video, but it bo it's bothering me. It's bo uh, see, this is actually why I didn't want to do it on the video, because now I have to clean it up. Now I have to clean it up, and I'm wasting all of your time, because I'm probably not going to edit it out. How do y'all feel about stickers on pens? Do you like them? Do you leave them? I don't. I don't like them. I understand the need for them in some cases, but like I'm glad it existed here so I would know what to call it and didn't have to keep the box around, but in general, I don't, I do not like. Okay, so anyway, here's Aquatic. lie I expected more of like a sky blue sort of color but I dig this this is nice I am a fan of whatever this is it kind of looks watery on the on the Tomoe River paper I like whatever this is I'll blot it a little bit see if we get some it's got like dark blue it's got like the turquoisey bit in it I this is interesting to me this is not just like a basic basic blue. looks like it might have some sheen looks like there could be some haloing around the letters here so we'll wait and see what, how the swatch dries I'm intrigued by this this is an interesting blue this looks I don't have the swatch card I don't think I have a swatch card nearby of Pelham blue it isn't Pelham blue but it's interesting to me like Pelham blue is I love Pelham blue diamond Pelham blue is one of my favorite blues okay let's put this back put this away I've been trying to make sure that my stuff is cleaned up as much as possible oh, you didn't can't even see what I was looking at I'm sorry because I zoomed in See what I mean? It looks kind of watery. It looks like there's some like purple. There's some like turquoisey. It's like turquoise and purple make this interesting blue color. Okay, let's 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 do Nebraska next. I'm gonna, I got to tilt to right. I just I just do. I'm sorry. That's why I try to tilt the camera so it's not as noticeable or obvious. Okay, this again. 
got from Pen Chalet. The ink was from Pen Chalet. Oh, oh, maybe I don't like that red so much. I mean, it is a Kool-Aid red for sure. Sailor, 50 states. Nebraska. weird things on the card and the scribble like weird feathery things it's kind of a warm red it's almost sort of reading a little orangey on the page kind of looks like it has like a pink base undercoat doesn't look like it's gonna have much shading it looks like it just kind of is how it is That is very bright. You can kind of see some pink under that. Yeah, I think this is like a pink red undertone. Looks like it might have some gold or green sheen, possibly gold. Okay, I was gonna move these to do writing samples, but I guess I'll just do them here. So we will do How am I gonna do this? You know what? We'll just do it like this. We'll just flip the page. We'll just flip the page. Should we do it on the cleaner page? We'll do it on the cleaner page. Sailor Fifty States. Nebraska. Writes really nicely out of this pen. Which is great. The cars happening outside. be interesting and maybe I need to do this after having done this is to do like a writing sample of every state either in the order that they were released or in alphabetical order when they're all finally out um, this is aquatic and possibly in these Lamy nibs because these medium nibs write really nicely I'm not usually a Lamy medium girl, but this blue is so pretty. Okay, here's our fake chromatography. We have Montana right here, this purple and like turquoisey, and then this right here is Mon is uh, Nebraska. So like I said, that undertone of pink, it's pink. It looks like strawberry lemonade in, in this little swatch here pink with some yellow peeking out. Very nice. I love the chromatography of this. Um, let's see, do I, let's see, what if we, if we like kind of, can we get anything interesting if we wash this out a little bit? 
if I do this. Not really. Oops, you didn't see what I did. Because I was zoomed in. So there was some still drying right here and I just took the water and whooshed it and also whooshed it down here and then I whooshed it around here as well. Let's see what kind of thing we get if I blob this up. Definitely some purple on that. I mean, we saw it already, but... Anyway, that's interesting. So let's see how it compares. I'm not gonna lay everything out because it's too much of a mess to clean up. I think I'll save the last layout for, um... Actually, we're gonna color our map first. We're gonna color our map so the swatches have a little more time to dry. And my map is right here. I did not recolor these two states yet like I wanted to, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead, we'll do Nebraska and then we'll do Montana. Nebraska is definitely light, lightning, brightening up this, this, uh, this center of the country here. Um, definitely looks nice next to Iowa. Little ketchup and mustard. This map was printed on a piece of Cosmo Air Light paper. So it is fountain pen friendly. I originally wanted to do Tomoe River paper, but I wasn't sure how it would um, hold up. Cosmo Air is a little sturdier. Plus, I think it really shows off the brightness of the color. Although, Tommy River paper would show more of the sheen and stuff. can't wait to see what they come up with next. I really just can't wait to see this whole map finished up. Even if the colors don't work together necessarily in a map like this. I definitely don't think they laid it out like this or if they had they might have made some other decisions but there's Nebraska. Nebraska looks so out of place and the reason there's a little blob there is because Cosmo Air Light is really really excellent about uh, keeping your hand oils. <laughs> And then Montana. We're done with like half of the country. This blue is really pretty. I like it a whole bunch. I and Mich I love I Pennsylvania. Oh my god. There's some really good blues in this collection. Even though I'm like, oh, I don't think we need another blue. Like at least this is different. This is different from the other blues. I don't think we need another blue in general, but it looks really nice next to Wyoming also. Actually, also next to Idaho, it looks nice. This is a good blue.
this one is going to be a great big undertaking. This is a big state. I haven't figured out how to speed things up by editing on my phone yet. So I have to edit on my phone because I used to edit on a Mac and my Mac is basically dead at this point. It's dead and no matter how much, how many things I remove from the hard drive, it says it doesn't have room, even though it does have room. And it's a pretty old computer and I have other computers. I haven't really delved into the Windows uh, video editing stuff too much yet. Mostly because I'm just trying to get videos out when I can and I'm not taking the time to learn a new program. Um, I'll eventually have to do that, I think. But basically what I'm doing is some 30 inks, 30 days, and I don't need to do a lot of that. I did figure out how to up the volume on the videos, so hopefully the audio has been better. Um, it, I would love it if you would tell me. Um, I guess there were a chunk of videos where the volume was not good, which is probably when I started editing on the phone. But then I accidentally found out where I can adjust the volume, and uh, hopefully that has made it a difference. Because I've done it on the last, like, five or six videos. This blue is really pretty, and I like it a lot. Oh, you didn't even see me doing that. It was off screen. I'm sorry. <sighs> well, here we go. This is a lot of, like, samey, samey colorness. Go, oh, Montana, Nebraska. I think Nebraska looks really nice next to Iowa, and I think Montana looks really good next to all of these colors. Here's our map. Our map in its current state. We have one, two, we have six states left. We have Minnesota, Kansas, Arkansas. No, wait, no, 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 no. No, what is this? What is the state? Nebraska? That's Kansas. Missouri. <laughs> American geography, y'all. Minnesota. Kansas. Missouri. Arkansas. Uh, Connecticut? And... I don't remember what that state is. Connecticut and it's not New Jersey. I don't remember what that state is. What state is that? I don't remember. We did New Hampshire. New Hampshire. I don't remember what state that is. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What states haven't we done? Fuck. Okay. Oh, hi. Thanks. That was a great transition, Pearl. Good job. Good job. See, nobody cares that I don't know the state now. It's all pearl time. Hi, Pearl Pearl. You're kind of, they can't really see you. They're looking at the water dish. Here. You're standing on the cord, though. Can you, like, not sit on the cord so they can see you? That'd be lovely. Can you get off the cord so they can see you? <laughs> Are you a menace? Are you a menace? You're going to show them your cute face? You're going to purr? No purring? Thanks, Pearl. Thank you. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta show people the sample. We gotta go show people the swatches. Mwah! Come here. Come here. I know, everybody loves you, but we gotta do this. <laughs> Are you going dead weight on me? What is this? What is this? What are you doing? Now they can't even see you. It's just a messy desk because you're sitting on the cold cable. Oh, there. there see, we, see, we see belly fluff. We see belly fluff. She's literally just dead weight right now. You are a little jerk. Yeah, stand up. Stand up. Come here. Come here. Move your booty. Move your booty. Move your booty. Yeah, go up there. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lay them all out because this is a mess to do and I don't want to get them out of order again. So we'll just show them next to all of the other reds in the collection. So here's Nebraska with Virginia. We are getting a little bit, it's a very, very, very light yellow sheen. I'm not even gonna call it gold, it's yellow. And uh, Delaware is not really a red, but here's what it looks like next to Florida if you wanna see it with a bright orange. This is like one of those reds that like, I don't know, it's like a stoplight red. It's just like a in your face red. Not really Nevada, but here it looks like next to Nevada. Nevada's brown. Massachusetts. Cat hair, Massachusetts. Which is more orange to me. North Carolina, sorry. Sorry, North Carolinians. There we go, and now blues. Next to New York, do we get any? I'm not really seeing any sheen on Montana, but I love, I love that. Illinois. They're looking very similar on the camera screen, but they are actually different. Pennsylvania, my beloved. Michigan is definitely brighter. Michigan is definitely brighter. I, I like that a lot. Definitely not at all anything like Tennessee. Although this has like the purple and the turquoise in it, so they could be like distantly related. Mississippi, which almost looks purple because of the red sheen on it. Mm. Hawaii is kind of more of a purple to me. These are greens. Yep, oh, that's it. Oh, here looks next to California, which is a teal. So maybe that helps a little bit. California's actually not looking bad on the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with, I don't like this shade of red. I don't like these reds that are bright, 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 bright red with like yellow sheen on them. I don't like them. Um, I love the little tidbit fact that came with it though. The fact about the Kool-Aid. I like that a lot. <laughs> that makes me like the ink, if that makes sense. Um, and I love Montana. Montana is so good. I am really, I am, yeah, I like this one a lot. Of the two, Montana is definitely my favorite. Montana might just be a favorite overall. I'm really, yeah, I really like that um, shade of blue. So there we go. Here's a 44 of our 50 states. Three more pairs left and then we're done with this project. I'm equal parts happy and sad about it because I'm sad that it'll be over, but I'm very happy that we'll have a completed map and I don't have to buy two bottles of ink every couple of months anymore. Not that I that will stop me from buying ink, but it won't be like a quote unquote obligation. It's not an obligation. Nobody's like requiring I do it, but you know, we're this close, we're this far in. Anyway, I have to save Pearl from herself. I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about the colors, either whether you're tied to the state or not. How do you feel about the color? Do you agree with their choices? Have you think have you thought, have, do you think Sailor's lost his marbles? Like, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear about it. Um, yeah, I've seen, I'm going to butcher his weight. I've seen Mike's uh, drawing of um, Nebraska. I don't know if they've posted Montana yet, but I love Montana, I think. And so I'm very excited to see what his drawing is like. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon. Take care. Love you, bye!